This is the If More Let's Divide podcast. Yo, yo, guys, Charlie, what it happened? Charlie, welcome to the F More Let's Divide podcast. And another week means another episode, like we always do. Season two, we come through. Yes, sir. Fighting kung fu, eating a fu fu. Charlie. Fan fu. Charlie, me had the rhyme. Had the, had the rhyme. I guess you, miss, you, you miss recording. I guess I, I, then you get bars, but Charlie, we are, we are the spot. Hey, did you catch that? You yeah. get bars, drinking bar, but we are the spot. Hey, <laughs> Charlie. Charlie, what happened, Charlie? Charlie, what do you go? What do you go on? I chuck it, bro. Mm, Charlie, yeah, cool. Charlie, so yeah, I mean, season, season two is already looking good. T- well, things for happen today. Yeah, things for happen today because Charlie, we have another guest, another amazing guest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Who I talk the amazing way? <laughs> but you should not say they talk amazing way. Last season, I tell you. I think it's a thing with North K guys. Yeah. Because most of my friends who grew up in North K, Audume Estates, Kanishi Polyclinic to dance bar, to Audume runabout, through and through, we like using amazing. Like, really? You know, there is, I know two people in North Kanishi called amazing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this research, you are going to like doing yeah. and find out a bit. Um, Charlie, this guy, this guy, we've seen him on our screens, you know, 200 times mm-hmm. in so many films, so many adverts. And yeah, he, I mean, in Nigeria too. Okay. You know, he has, you know. Dope stuff, dope stuff. He has the audience, he has the reach, you know, he's well known. And I'm so humbled. I'm so humbled and privileged to have grown up with him. You know, we go way back, my childhood friend. And yeah, Chai, I know superstars, so you know, I know superstars. Um, without much ado, help me welcome the amazing James Gardner. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> what happened, baby? What happened? <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, Ray, Ray, Ray. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie, guys, I know I, I was going to make this mistake a couple of times because <laughs> I have called him Ray for the longest, but James, welcome to the F More Let's Divide podcast. Thank you. Thank you. It, it actually, the few weird, it, it feels weird to say... <laughs> You're, You're call calling me James. Me James. Me James. Yeah, it just feels off. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. My childhood friend. Like, yeah. uh, have, yo, like... I've known you for decades. Decades, man. Fred it's, will say, Mutombo, <laughs> it's, it's decades. Just say decades <laughs> and you're free. Yeah. 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 Good vibes, good guy. I mean, th- there's a reason why I'm here. I, I did, There's no way I was going to turn out this thing for nothing. Allah. So, Allah. Allah. We'll be outside. Allah, yeah. Allah, yeah. Allah, 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 we already know. <laughs> Charlie, um, Charlie, for we here, sometimes if we we have stock, we serve our guest with either tea or palm wine. Yeah. Today, it's going to be fresh palm wine. That means nice we are nice going swear. to enjoy... Uh, you did tell the, the like if you be it, like if you be it. That's it. That's if, it. If you go feed pass, give them um, um, right. fresh. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Then, uh, yeah. Charlie, kung fu will come inside. Eh? Yeah, Charlie. Kung fu, drink, t- so topi, fu fu. Pa- fresh palm wine. I've been buying palm wine from this guy for In over fufu. 10 it. years. Even though he passed, his son is taking over. Oh. That's what I was about to ask you. So, in son, take over the business. Yeah, Charlie. That'd be dope, Charlie. In son, they take over. May he rest in peace, man. Again. Yeah, rest in peace. Charlie. What be your name? Um... I called him Obiabeko Asasi Bisu. Why are you shot, man? The way you fetch him. Oh, more more more. I just to make sure you say no discrimination. Oh, there. my goodness. Yo, Charlie, James. So, um, Yo, yeah, first question, Charlie. Cheers, man. Cheers, to cheers. second season. Yeah. Cheers to you guys, yes, man. You guys cheers. are doing a good job. Yeah. yeah. Charlie, um, so, off the bat, right? I've been, for the intro, I was saying amazing, amazing a couple of times yeah. because <laughs> um, I think, w- was it VGMA's 2020? Yeah. Or 2021? 2020. 2020. Yeah, 2020. Yeah, you were hosting the red carpet. Yeah. And 
I know that you didn't even notice how no, bro. <laughs> you were using the same word for not everybody. Not for one time. Yeah, not that for thing happened. one time. That, I, was, I was just in it. Yeah. I lost count. Yeah, you know, there, there was this video, a <laughs> meme going around on the internet how like you were saying Repe- yeah, amazing, oh, amazing oh, outfit amazing, oh, amazing, amazing shoes amazing bag oh amazing oh amazing <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Charlie why like let's see over me like okay so I, I don't know yet but I I don't think I thought more about the compliments I was going to be giving Charlie it's going be strong small it, it, it ends up no 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 it's strong small it's perfect mm, yeah right yeah I didn't, I didn't think so much about the compliments because I thought it was going to come naturally. But with the questions I had to do, you know, research, know who's nominated for what and, you know, history. Like, you know, just, just yeah. to get people, like, very well informed. Yeah. The compliments wasn't really something I had to think about. Like, how people mm. after were now telling me to look for more synonyms for the word amazing. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah it was just, you know... I, that was when I think I realized that I think I abused the word amazing a lot. So I, I would agree if you say yeah. it's like a North Key thing because yeah, we all grew yeah, up in yeah, North Yeah, yeah, But also, does, does that mean that maybe you you were you were faking a little bit to to whoever you were interviewing at a point because, <laughs> no, because if, no, if you really oh, like if I'm using amazing for everyone yeah, no talent, no you so are amazing, go. no so so I I I tend yeah, amazing, to use the cool. word amazing when something is actually amazing so <laughs> there we go <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so then um me saying amazing was me actually complimenting you know these people mm. but i think it's something that i use a lot so now it came off as if i was just you know just tell the collector amazing and go yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know but but that wasn't it i mean th- there were some on the red carpet who were not looking amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. so for yeah, some yeah. i lied mm. but for the most part you know a, a yeah. lot of them were looking amazing yeah Charlie. sensational so, so like, do you do you get paid for such events? Like, and also, how did you land that gig? Was it because that isn't just the only time that you have been a host, right? No, 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 no. It's it's not the only yeah, time yeah, I've yeah. been a host. I've I've done those things on my like as well. I used to no, be a TV presenter as that's well true. back in that's the day. True. But this one, I I, I it, w- it was a message first of all, and I think a call followed after, and they said they wanted me to be the host. For, mm. Yeah, and I said, oh, "Yeah, I mean, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> let's, go, let's, let's go, let's do it, let's do it." So that's that. It, it, it wasn't there wasn't too much to it. Mm. It was just a call. Next minute, you know, designers on board, looking ready. I went, killed it, killed the cup, blood, killed yeah. the cup. <laughs> Shout out to Bravo. May you get a bag. <laughs> yeah. So. And um, this is this is quite a personal question because quite recently I've been saying that we we the guys who grew up in North K, we didn't have any role models. You know, mm. there there were not so mm. many role models. You mean in North Kanishi, yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it was like it was like a dog eat dog kind yeah, of world. You know? Yeah. There were just a few people who were doing good, no mentors, like yeah. nothing. Like, do you sit back and sigh and go like, Wow, I have really come far? So it it's so funny you said this because it wasn't it wasn't so long ago when I was having this discussion with my manager. Shout out to Bali Akbabi. Hey. He's also a North Cape boy. Hey. Um, Gambino. I, I think that we're so in tune and so focused and so into what we're doing so much so that we don't have that time to sit back and actually sit back and go like, yo, like I'm I, is this happening? Like this is what like we don't appreciate the work that we've mm. done so far. Like we don't sit down to reflect. So it, it it makes me now want to think more about how it all started. Just like you're saying, where where it all started, the kind of people that I grew up with, the kind of influence that's you know. Because 
I just knew that one way or the other, it just had to work. Mm, yeah. It just had to work. Yeah. And it was just that hustle mentality. And that's what I like about North Cape Boys mm. as well. There was this hustle, grind mentality. So even though on the negative, I would say we didn't actually have like uh, mentors and all of that, but we picked more of attitude patterns mm. from a lot of these, you know, friends we had back in the day. But you're right. So for me, I would say that maybe if I had not probably escaped a little bit from North Kaneshi to, you know, start a new chapter, mm -hmm. things might probably would have been different, mm. you know, because from here, from North Kaneshi is when I started living with my grandma, who's like a disciplinarian. She's a, a, one of the church elders at Seventh-day Advent, SDA. Mm. Mm. So also for my man yeah, and all of that, yeah. it was like, I think she really steered me onto the right path. But even in North Kaneshi, that my aunt that I used to live with, shout out to Aunt Paulina, she is just a soldier. Yeah. So I, I, I just look back and go like, you know what? We didn't really have a lot of opportunities growing up in, in North Kaneshi. At all, Kanishi. at all. Just like you say, like no mentoring, not someone I could say, I, I'm looking up to that person. Mm. We, we, we didn't have that kind of, mm. you know, and back in the day, we had this like communal thing going on. Everybody yeah. knew each other. You can discipline someone's child, yeah, like yeah, yeah. things like that. We, we, we don't have that. that. Now we don't have that. That's the same discussion I was having with Mauli. Now everyone is guarding what they have. You don't have oh. kids. I mean, they play out, but now, I, I don't know, is it civilization or modernization? <laughs> like I whatever it is. But yeah. I want to you guys' question. I want to ask, because I've been seeing that, actually it's something I've been meaning to ask, like, because a lot of guys that he's, Tombo has been associating with or acquaintances or colleagues as you call them in the industry. North Cape boys. So have you guys ever sat back to think how a lot of you have ended up one way or the other in the entertainment yeah. industry in general, yeah. from media to radio yeah. to Do you know, music I, I think, to I think acting, everything? There's my take, right? North Cape is a very, very strange place. Yeah. The time that we grew up, there were studios springing up. Yeah. All the hip life stars from the beginning, <laughs> most of them were yeah. in North K. They were in North K. I can start mentioning them. Yeah. 247. Yeah. Shouts yeah. Osibo. Osibo, so there's a Roma. Yo, I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink to that. You know, 247, <laughs> you know, had. Where they were into demos, they were into giving tips, yeah. they were into recording, mm. yeah. and Hasha Studios, yeah. OM Studios, yeah. Tiny, like at, the, at his Mad. beginning, Mad. coming to you know yeah, Hash Hash, yeah. Kwao Kese, Hash Hash, oh, Book Back, Doctor Po, Do you know, <laughs> you know yeah, all of these guys, all of them. Yeah. you know. Exdo was Exdo. living at I think Bubuashi just yes, just here. Yes, yes. Chicago Bubuashi. That was back time. Oh really? Back time. Yeah, right here. <laughs> it, it was a lot. There's the, and and there's D Black now. Yeah, you know, now like, coming uh, forward a little D Black. Yeah, Joey B. Joey B. It's like you know, like you know. So we grew up around entertainment. Yeah. Amapino or was living around here. Sydney lives yes, just yes, here. Yes, yes. You know, um, Charles Charles Samoa. Mm. Oh. Right there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I, wow. I don't know. It's I don't know if realized. it's recent or Chasamwa just lived lived right here. Oh. Um, Amanziba. Oh no, it wasn't Amanziba. Um, this guy, you know. So I mean, what I'm trying to say is, yeah, everybody was here. Yeah. So that's that's what I was saying. I think we're picking up things from people, yeah, yeah. around yeah. us rather than. Go I don't know if you get what I mean. I, yeah. I think... No, it, I'm following. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. the, the way that he was asking you about mentors, I was trying to figure out, do you think it was necessary or do you think it's something that you would have done better with? Mentors are like guides. You know, they... Are they? That's, that's what we are made, made to believe. They actually... Yeah. Yeah, on, they a are, on, more, on a personal level, yeah, not, not like... like a, they do like, you do you have any mentors now? Or no, I I don't think I've I, ever. I, I don't think I've ever had, I've ever a, mentor. had a, a mentor. Someone I could go to talk to, you know. No, no. no there are people that. I look up to. Yeah. So my curiosity, because both of you are artists in your own right, right? Mm. You're an artist as a as an actor, and yeah. he's an artist as a performer, musician, so on and so forth. I am wondering if you are not better off without that mentorship. Because 
as you as a finished product that like I am interacting with you now and I've done some research because you know I had to prep. You seem to have your own organic constitution. You became who you became as a result of all the experiences that you you've had. Yeah. So when you speak, I feel like it comes through to say, okay, he's. I'm thinking. I think on my own. And Mutombo, like I define you very unique. Even though we're friends, yeah, and go, yeah, like every time yeah, I come around him, yeah. <laughs> he do something. I they watch. I'm like, ah, this guy. <laughs> What's this guy doing? Okay, like he has. He's quirky. He's this, but. He's his own person, yeah. and he doesn't. F it doesn't feel like any of you can be turned over easily. Like no. nobody can walk in the room and be like, yeah, that, is, "That is an okay thing." That's, like I think yeah, they yeah, lie. Yeah, okay yeah, yeah. You know, you so lie, maybe so I don't know. I'm, I'm just digging about the yeah. mentor thing. Like I don't yeah. know if it's necessary we, we, or not. We, um, we, if you grew up in North K, you you are tough. You're tough. You know, no, no one can no, easily the, walk the, over the here. The spotlight doesn't stay on one person. It's mm. like. The, like even when we're talking about it, you North K wasn't the kind of place where you go like, yeah, Charlie, but this guy, hey, this guy, like, yeah, you see, we recognize, we move on, you know, like, yeah. done that. But I, I felt that was good because in my mind, I have to do so much for like for recognition or respect. Not that I was hungry for it, but it became like something natural. Killers did a yard inside. Yeah, we downplayed a lot of yeah. big, big things, so much so that it, it propelled me to see those big things as mediocre. Mm -hmm. So that means like I, I, I wanted more. We didn't more. big up just anything that, you know, just came across. It has to like really be wild because may, maybe we didn't know but back in the day th this was more like uh, Beverly Hills kind of because you had yeah. all these musicians trooping and we see like we yeah. had seen Even it normal. all yeah we had seen it all yeah. so at some point someone will probably drive past Tiny and go like yo 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 but we see him and then we go like yo that's him so yeah. my reaction will be different from how you see him so I think all of that mentality and the exposure also sort of helped a lot and that's that whole mentorship, mentoring and all of those stuff didn't really become like a thing. Everybody was so focused on what they can also bring to the table because we could see directly right in front of our eyes what these guys were doing for themselves. You know? Iron sharpens so, iron. Eh? Yeah. Many people don't know that you have been a radio presenter before. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, Charlie, yeah. but I'm about do so. Yeah, Charlie. Uh, yeah, so I was going to ask you, right? I love, was like, acting that thing, like, did you did you have your eyes on acting? No. Or you were just trying no. things I here was, and there? I, I, and I was experimenting things, but I, I knew for a fact radio was and will always be my first love. Mm. Let me tell you how this, this thing happened uh, with regards to radio before I even start talking mm. about the acting. So when I was a kid, my dad had this Datsun, this mm -hmm, car, mm -hmm. and it was fresh at the time. Yo, let, I, I need an applause for that. <laughs> because at the <laughs> time... Which one, Bluebird? No, what, the Datsun Bluebird? Yeah, which, which Datsun do you know? I don't know. I, I was so young. I don't think I remember. It was silver, I remember. It was sleek, brand new. And um, every time that we're on our way, you know, um, to school, like when he's going to drop me off at school, he used to listen to Tommy and Unforsen. That's how far mm. back I go. And... Um, I just, I just had this admiration, this the way he handled it, the way he spoke. Yeah, Tommy and Alfonso very articulate. Yeah, Eloquent shout guy. out, shout out to Tommy and Alfonso. Like he, be, he, he is articulate. So it made me listen. I, yeah. I, I wasn't just, you know, just listening for listening's sake. I actually, when I get in the car, I want to listen to Tommy and Looking Alfonso. Looking forward to it. Yes. So I think that's where it started. I may have, no, I may, I think I picked a lot of things from Tommy. I, 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 I've, I've said it at a radio interview. We reached, we spoke. Oh, nice. Tommy and I hooked up. Yeah. We spoke, you know, once in a while. I have to call him, actually. The last mm -hmm. time he called me. So this time, I guess, yeah. I have to call. Um, so that's how it started. And then in my own way, I learned how to record on a cassette. So... My mom will buy all these gospel cassettes, right? And I'll put in the tape at the time. And, and I figure that <laughs> if a song is playing on the radio and you press the record button, it records yeah, the song. The, the buttons to all to, two. Yeah, the play thing. and the record yeah, yeah, yeah. at the same time. So <laughs> I figure, I now realize that when it's recording and you turn the volume down and I talk, it, 
the yeah, 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 yeah. There were, there were some I missed those things like actually. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how how I did it. Nobody taught me. I, I just figured it out. So you know, I started doing it. Yo, people, what's up? Welcome to the Super Morning Show. My name's James Scott. Now, nah, blah, yeah, blah blah blah. Yeah, music yeah, at the back. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, that's how yeah. it, it started, yeah. and then and then you know, it it it, it took off. Mm. But once I entered Saint Augustine's College, radio, you be a Gasco boy. Yeah, Gasco boy, strong, Absolute. hard, absolute, absolute. Why you be a Gasco boy? Okay, which school you go? Oh, you make me move. <laughs> <laughs> so it was in Augustine's where I started the acting thing because. Ali Butcher Boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Understood. I'll Understood. see you outside. <laughs> <laughs> so that was where I joined the drama and debaters club. I, I was doing all of that. Anyone who knows me in school won't be surprised that, you know, I'm, I'm in the showbiz or I'm in the entertainment industry because it was my thing. I used to host all these entertainment gigs. Mm. debate i was part of the debate team i was part of the mm. readers club and all of these things we were winning you know so there was this acting thing that i did one time and then i was like you know what this actually isn't as it, it, it's not that bad after that fast forward uni i finished i finished um, uni and i had to start my service and i pushed for them to to let me work at a radio station so i ended up at joy fm Mm. Oh. Yeah, and then I started yeah. from uh, the events and promotion department, but okay. they did something called Topsy Tevi, where you have the person who anchors the news now doing the drive time, the person who does the sports doing um, mm. entertainment. Okay, news Topsy and, uh, Tevi. Okay. Yeah, but I was the only person who was the national service person who had the chance to go on it, because I think at the time I had started reading announcements. I, I was trying to push, you know, I was trying to try to push myself out. I wanted to be heard because I felt like mm -hmm. I had a good voice. I could talk and things like that. So I read the news and I, I think I did good because okay. one thing led to another. I had my own show now on Hits FM, which is a sister station to Joy FM. It was a four-hour mm -hmm. music show. Unbelievable. Amazing. Amazing. And that's how the whole <laughs> thing started. So now people realize that I like these things, presenting, all of that. Yeah. So when anyone sees an audition or something, an advert or something like that, they would call me. I saw an advert like that, went for the audition. It was a production. It was a Fennec. Is it Fennec? May you so rest in peace. Uh, oh, Fennec, Fennec. Um, Quark, Quark, yes, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Fennec's uh, production. It was supposed to be for John Quark, no, Quarkes Quarkes is manager. manager. Okay. He was the one behind this particular production I'm talking about. So it was supposed to be for John Dumelo then, but his career had, had taken off then. So he didn't have the time. Mm. So during that... Oh, it was uh, the Ginger Farm. It was, was it the Ginger Farm that was taking his attention? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. during, during that pilot was when I met a lady who said... I look good on screen and she knows this producer friend who's looking for new faces. Mm. So is this something I would like to try out? But at this time, I was still at Joy FM. Mm -hmm. So it was taking a lot of my time and all of that when I started going for all these auditions and then I, I got the gig and I said, you know what? Radio is always going to be there, right? But let me just see how far this acting thing can, can get me because this opportunity might probably not come back. Okay. So that's how the acting thing started. One thing led to another. And now we're outside. So, nice. Um, do nice. you? Nice. So, you have acted in like so many films. I, I can't even begin to count. And I remember the first time I saw you on screen, you know. You laugh? To be, like, like, I oh, was. Oh, you go so, laugh. Yeah, I laugh. <laughs> I laugh. You know, that we tease him, you know, yeah. when he wasn't there. But deep within, we were so, so, you know, uh, happy, happy, you yeah. know, for him. That one, yeah. no lie. Um, and so I was saying, you, you you've been you've been in in hundreds of films and all that, yeah. and you've been literally hundreds, scene. a lot, bro. Yeah, a whole lot, a whole lot. count. <laughs> Do you count. think the the business, the acting business, favors people with light skin like yourself? It's very funny. Light skin it's, folks it's, like, it's, like it's very funny mm -hmm. you said this because just this morning I got a call from. Someone, you know, I woke up and I saw three missed calls from a Nigerian number, right? And then I saw three calls from my friend who was here. Mm -hmm. And the conversation we had was that I called my friend first because I didn't know this uh, Nigerian number. And he had sent me a message. That's why I called him. And I said, yo, what's up? I saw your message. He said, someone, is, someone wants to work. A producer wants to work. He mm -hmm. said, yeah, the producer is looking for a light-skinned person. Wow. Okay. 
I just want to separate it. Yeah, I, yeah. I wanted to talk about this first yeah. before anything. Uh-huh. That was the trend. Some people still go with that trend. Why though? I, I don't know. I think they look better on screen, I think. Mm. I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Because yeah. I mean, maybe you you will need more light. I mean, as a light person and as an actor, I think maybe when the light when when there's light and I'm light skinned, it will favor me more than you because you are more on the darker side. Mm. So picture wise, I think light skinned people will have like the advantage. Do you mm. get what I mean? Yeah. But now, now the 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 tones don't matter, bro. I can tell you for a fact. Acting in Africa has grown so like I I, I don't even know the English to use right now. It, it has grown so much that it's either talent or nothing. Mm. Mm. Particularly yeah. really? in Nigeria, the competition is so tight. You have to get your game on. See, when I get a call to go to Nigeria. Not like I don't do the same for Ghana, but you and I know that now Ghana is not as active as it used to be. Yeah. So you see, when you're when you're racing, when when you're working in a place where there's like a lot of competition, you can't let your guard your guard down. Mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't say because I've been in the industry for more than ten years, so I can take certain things for granted. Like I read my lines and I act out how I want to act every single scene or every line and how I'm going to say it. So by the time I get on set, I'm I'm okay, mm. because I, I I don't want to take the 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 chance of just improvising. Even though you you eventually you do that, you see when you know what you want to do, and you're doing it now, you can be confident and improvise. And now, but as an actor now, I don't think skin tone really asks uh, it it doesn't ask for much, it, like yeah. no. It doesn't. Oh. You 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 have to you have to know what you're about. Be very experienced. Know your lines. You are not now going to going on set before you start reading your lines. You have to know your continuity. When I say continuity, I don't know if you have any idea about what I'm saying. I'm following. Okay, so no, Fred. Fred, so, that's, that's no, 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 I any anyway, continuity. So, but so you know, say that me, I won't be actor. How you know? <laughs> that won't go holy. Seriously, we can talk about that another day. Don't even sleep on my. I mean, that's that's I'm, I'm still following time. you, bro. That's still time. Yeah. <laughs> So as an actor, I feel like one of the pluses that you can have or one of the armors you can have with you is to have your continuity spot on. Every director likes that because it makes their work easy. Continuity is when you have to redo or replay whatever it is that you did in a scene in another shot. Mm. The same exact thing. Like to the point where maybe they won't see a difference. So if, for instance, they call, there's a wide shot, or maybe there's another camera taking another angle, but then the director wants to call for another shot. If I say, hey, what's up? Yesterday we came here and I didn't know how to do. I go like, the second shot I have to do, hey, what's up? Yesterday I came in, I didn't. So you see, when <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the longer the, longer the scene, <laughs> The longer the scene, the more continuity, like your memory has to be on point. Wow. So wow. And the sequence of it too. That's what I'm saying. So if it's like a long scene where we run from the bathroom and I'm thrashing you around, I get up, I slap you, I take you to the counter, I now kiss you and then you're fighting back. You have to repeat the same thing with the same emotion, acting and stuff, but people just don't know. Back in the day, the acting was just, you know, but now it's a lot of energy because you have to let people, people see what you got. Yeah, and you, it's get, be- you, get, you have to make it believable. Exactly my point. You can't now, now, we're, we're living in advanced and, and such a modernized world, you can't get away with the little things that, you know, yeah. you, you, you used to get away <laughs> yeah, Charlie, with. Actually, I, yeah. I, 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 I really, really, yeah. I was into what you just did. That small yeah. snippet. Like, <laughs> hey, what's up? Like, and the tone was the same, yeah, like exactly. everything. Yeah. So let me give you, let me throw you this challenge, okay. right? You just hit a jackpot. Yeah. One million. Right? Yeah. One million, a jackpot. Like, it's fluke money. You don't really need that money because you have like 200 million mm. stuck up somewhere. You want me to act like that? Wait. <laughs> right? Okay. So you are going to 
blow this one, maybe let's say 500,000 yeah. at a casino. Mm. Okay. You get to the casino, you get to whatever, the crab table. Yeah. yeah. And you see other ballers. Yeah. And five fly girls. Yeah. How would you speak to these other ballers who <laughs> now, now you have more money than? How would you speak to them for the girls to know that? Yes, you are. Ah, There's man, a new Odogu. I mean, this one. Ah. <laughs> like, I am, I'm, I'm flex, more of a script. Flex, yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm more, I'm more of a script and act kind of person, but yeah. let's, let's, let's just see. Let's flex. See. <sighs> so I just got into the casino, right? Yeah. Who's the boss here? You? I should be. Give me three bottles of champagne. Take it to that table. Uh, don't ask them for anything. They will come. Bro, nice watch. Where'd you get this one from? Omega. <laughs> I have 10 of those. I'll give to one when I'm leaving. $10,000, please place it right here. I want a cocktail, not too strong, not too mild. All right. I think that's just about it. Because if we're giving me like a script, <laughs> that's different. But I, I thought, I that's thought a you sick wanted. Note. <laughs> Improvisation. I can't, I can't like, even imagine it's improv. Act it out. I yeah. thought you wanted me to do more of like how I react if I receive the money that I wasn't expecting to receive or something okay, like yeah. that. Yeah, but but this is tough. But you killed yeah. it because yeah. I, I can't even imagine the yeah. scene. To, like I wouldn't ask you how, how how's you like oh, make a guy Rolex. Yeah, I, I, I'll, tell you, I'll give you what. Yeah. Yeah, take three. Like Imp I mean, listen, it's crazy. That, yeah. That's skill. That's that's and you know, his you. his facial uh, his expression. expression. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, for a second, I was about to smile. I was like, yeah. oh, yeah. was. In the act, Charlie, don't fuck around. Yeah, that was yeah. dope. That was dope. Um, yeah, um, you. you have been spending your time in Nigeria. Yeah. You've been spending a whole lot of time in Nigeria quite recently. Um, how is Nigeria like when it comes to the movie, you know, business? Um, I, I said this the last time in an interview I went for, and you know how our bloggers and all these websites are. They would just pick oh, the places really? where they like, and then they just put the headline out just to, to, to get baits to, or get mm. traffic to their sites. But when I say these things, I don't want to look like I'm, dump, uh, like I'm dumpling our industry, mm. right? Because we have so much talent here. That's exactly what I said. Like I mentioned the likes of... Shelly from Paul Manson, Leila Jansi, there's a... Uh, on top of my head, like, there, there are so many, Kofia Samoa, there are, like, yeah. so many amazing directors. Yeah, amazing. Right? amazing. Now, in Nigeria, what's, what, what's different is that they have the funding. Mm -hmm. You see, when you have the funding, everything is achievable, everything is possible in filmmaking. The more things you achieve from a story or from a script, the more beautiful the movie is or the more the story comes to life. You don't cut corners. When you're filming and in the story, it says a rich man, you know, uh, gets down from a private jet and, and sits in, in, in a limousine uh, and roots served with champagne with 10... Like, there's a way the story will yeah. now sh portray the person as being rich, flamboyant, and all of that yeah. stuff. Yeah. But because you won't, you won't probably have it available, mm -hmm. instead, of the, instead of the jet, you'll probably stand in front of the airport and say, hey, hi, and you put in a dialogue. I just landed from, from the my airport. Private jet, my yeah. private jet. Can, where, where's the limousine? There's no time. Why are you not here? Then now you, you have to improvise and use another car. It takes something away from it. But you see, when there's funding... You'll film the private jet scene. You'll film the limousine scene. They'll take you with all the girls and all of that. It just gives, like, it, it brings life to the story. So when you have funding, you tell the story well. It doesn't mean that Ghana, we don't know how to tell the story. When there's no funding, you still have to work anyway. So you have to, you have to improvise and yeah. try to make it work. But what Nigerians have on their side now, the fact that even Prime... Mm -hmm. Has all been in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have like a, a solid office in Nigeria. Means that there's going to be loads of films as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. We don't have that here. 
you know it's like every week there's something coming out on netflix from nigeria we don't Absolutely. have that here. Yeah. Like the, the kind of requirements that you have to meet for your film to be on Netflix, the kind of camera quality, the sound, and you're renting these things on the daily, it's not cheap. Like a red camera, for instance, is so expensive, and you're going to be paying for this for three weeks, a month, mm. two months, three months. You need like a lot of funding. Yeah. So I think that's where the problem is. It's not necessarily the fact that our industry is here, downhill. We just need people who can fund. There's a movie that we just premiered called The Taste of Sin, and that was funded by Archbishop Duncan Williams from uh, um, Action Chapel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was mm -hmm. his TV side of the church that was, was handling this one called oh, Dominion wow. TV. Yes, so from A to Z. He handled everything. When you watch the film, you would understand. We had a private jet scene where Magic gets out from the private jet, his cars, his houses, offices, everything just looked plush and it made sense. Now, it made the story make sense, but not when someone is, has to be portrayed as a, as a rich person and now the, the, the costume doesn't work. You know, the things, props and everything around him doesn't really work. So it's not believable. It, it's, it's like an empty story. You know, so so wait. Uh, are you spending more time in Nigeria because of because of how things don't work? No, no. Or uh, probably or because, because of, of the maturity the of the industry there. No, no, no. So it's it, I would say it's, it's not perfect. I I still work here, yeah. but I would say with God being being on my side, and I think for the work that I'm doing, I get now I get more calls from Nigeria. Not that I, not that okay. I want to want. To. I mean, of course, if the if 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 that's where the work is, that's where I want to go. Yeah. But luckily for me and God being on my side, I get I now I, I get more calls from like I'm, I'm going to Lagos next month, and oh. I'm sure when I'm there, I'll probably do like a couple more before I come back. And the whole thing, what's fa even fascinating me is, last year I did about six or seven films, and none of them have come out. Wow. So imagine when they start to come out. Mm. So then that means that, you know, that's, and, and obviously if the performance is solid, it's going to set, you know, that tone for me to get more gigs in Nigeria. Not because, dope, dope. yeah, there's, there's a job that I was supposed to have started on the 28th here in Ghana before I traveled, but I think they, they had a, a bit of a technical challenge, so I can't do that. So I work here. Before that, I did another job with Nadia, Nadia Buwari. I, I, mm. I, st I still work, but... I just feel like Nigerians have like a proper source of funding when it comes to these things. So they'll pay for a solid story writer, mm. a script writer. They'll pay for a very solid director, get the highest of equipment. It, 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 you, you, you can't, you can't yeah. go wrong. I, I, want, go I, I wrong. want to understand how, for me now, the bag is, <laughs> is quite important for, for me now. I, yeah. I want to understand how things work for you. And because of what you just said, um, like you have like eight, the bag is quite yeah, deep. you have like eight or seven films in in the in the line coming out. Um, are you paid when the film comes out, or you are paid right after you are done filming? Okay, so royalty is a very big problem here in Africa. Well, I I don't want to, I don't want to generalize it, but mm. I, I mean to the best of my knowledge, Ghana, Nigeria, we don't do. The whole royalty, royalty stuff, except when maybe when a producer is in good spirits and then the film probably did way too good, they call you probably and just, you know, say, you know what, send me a car number or something like that. But whatever it is that you're charging is a flat fee mm. and that's it. Mm. How well the movie does, if the movie clocks a billion dollars, you're out. You're wow. out. Of it. it ends there. Yeah, we don't have that royalty thing here in Africa. I mean... It has to start at some point, but now technically it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot. We don't have the system mm -hmm. to actually make that machine work. It, it doesn't work. So it's a flat fee based on how heavy the script is, what exactly you're going to be doing. Some actors have a flat fee and go like, okay, this is how I take in all films, but I'm, I'm a very flexible person. I... I, I I can say that, okay, based off this, because it doesn't really like require a lot of work, I won't charge as much as how I would charge if I was, feel, I was featuring in a, scene, in a movie where I had to play about 70 scenes. Do you get what I mean? So I don't, I don't like to put like a price tag on myself because number one, that might also deter certain producers as well. I don't even like quoting my fee 
before you you quote yours. I always want you to quote yours because some of them, when you quote it, it might be too high, they don't call back. So you mm. let them quote whatever it is that they have and then you work it out. If it's way too low, then it's probably not going to work. Mm. So, but yeah, um, because of the fluid, because of how fluid the industry in Nigeria is, they pay higher than than they pay in Ghana. You, you understand what I mean? Because obviously, they have a bigger platform to showcase all of these things. Almost all of their movies on Netflix. You get all these Netflix originals coming from Nigeria. This right. is like a Netflix-funded film. Mm-hmm. coming from Nigeria. We, 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 like we've never had that in, in Ghana. When it's like a Netflix fan, like Glamour Girls. I was in Glamour Girls. Mm, yeah, it was yeah. a, a Netflix original. The man was really good. Yeah. And it's, it sets a tone for the rest. When you do certain kind of films and you're not careful and you say, these are the only films that you want to do or these are the only kind of films that you want to do, you might end up sitting there. You don't know when the next call is going to come. So... I won't say I'm sitting on a high horse or I'm, I'm, I see this job as that or I see this job as that. Once I love the story, I know the director is good. It's not all about the money. I will do it because now I've grown a strong passion for acting. When the money comes with it, fantastic. But yep. now more than ever, it's more about me putting my craft out there because when people see what you can do, it gets you more jobs. I don't know why people still don't understand that. It's not always about the money. I can read a script and it's a fantastic story, and they want to pay chicken change. I go like, look, don't worry. We'll make it work, mm. and I'll do it. So it, it, I wouldn't say it's, it's always about the money. It's always about I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a cool guy. Not, not gay guys, you know already. We're Charlie, the cool guys. We, yeah. we always find a way to make it work. But when it comes to business, too, I don't, I don't play. When I see you're trying to take advantage of me, or I know that... You got the bag and you're trying to sit over happiness. We have to find a way. Now, the more good and solid works you do and the more people are seeing how good of an actor you are, naturally raises your price tag. Mm. So you don't have to force it. It comes naturally. The very first time I had a conversation with the producer and I asked the producer to quote how much he wants to give me, I was like, what? In my head. I was jumping in my head. But I had to keep my cards like, oh, um... I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you knew. <laughs> but I knew. You know, so that, yeah. that, that, sh- that, that told me that I, I, I'm doing something right. You know, it's like I was on the right path. I, I'm, I've been very influenced by film, very curious about film. Actually, that's what I plan to do in my 50s when I get there. I think I'll be comfortable enough to invest do the producer stuff but um i've been listening to you i think a lot of times people don't understand the business side of why they're getting what they're receiving on their screen so sometimes you go and watch like if you're a movie buff you know let's say i mean just throw a random movie out there like Godfather or, mm-hmm. you know, Scent of a Woman. Mm-hmm. You watch, you see the quality of the acting, the angles, the speech, the mm-hmm. this, the that. Mm-hmm. And you come and you and you, you experience our local movies and you're like, eh. mm, what was that? there's a huge disparity yeah. Yeah, in yeah, terms yeah. of the quality of what you're experiencing. You breaking it down as a consequence of funding. My layman perspective is that in Ghana, quote unquote, are wealthy people, those who can afford to fund these films and whatnot, they don't see or they don't know yet the value in making filmmaking. these Perfect. in filmmaking. Yep. And because you're the professional, you're the industry person, I want to get your take on what it's going to take for us to get to that point where we know the essence of how important film is to a culture, to a people, to our traditions, and so on and so forth. I I honestly feel like, and I'm not saying this in any disrespect, because I feel like now a lot of things I say become controversial, but I think Ghana is... Controversy, it can be good. I, I, I think Ghana is always late when it comes to jumping on something. Trends... 
we are not peace setters. We, we, we don't set peace. We are very careful people. We keep to ourselves. Everyone is content. Nigerians are naturally aggressive. I blame Rollins, but let's talk. They go let's, for let's it. Go <laughs> they, they go for it, you know. I just, I just feel like this conversation should even be had. Like, you can obviously see what is happening mm -hmm. in the Nigerian film industry. In the world. Let the me, I don't, I don't even want to go too far. Yeah. Let's, let's just talk about Nigeria. Let's just limit it to Nigeria. See how far Nigeria is going when it comes to film, bro. Mm. So, an argument is that Ghana is a very small country, mm. right? We can't wrap shoulders with Nigeria when it comes to anything yeah. consumable, be it entertainment, food, whatever. They are the numbers. Yeah. If you own a business in Nigeria and you have branches all over, you're a rich man mm -hmm. because the dependency is like is, is massive. Mm -hmm. Ghana, how many? Yeah. The population in Lagos alone, population, yeah. not the size, the population in Lagos State alone is more than Ghana. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Just as one. So you see, if you're a businessman here, you won't make as much money I mean, or you think you're making money uh, until you hear what Nigerians are making in their country. And that's like the turnover in the money that's invested is, is so easy to make because of the consumption, mm -hmm. right? A lot of people, we even we here, we're not even cinema people. When was the last time you went to the cinema? I, I'm not going because the movie theater is crap. But. No, I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> but I just, I, I just want, I, I, like, I just want to make a point. Yeah. We don't even have the cinema culture here in our country. That's yeah. number one. So film business in itself is a bit tricky. Yeah. In Nigeria, yeah. they have the film culture. No right. disrespect. You can have someone who sells Maggie Cube mm -hmm. in, in the market will call his girlfriend and say, if yeah, let's go to the cinema this weekend. It's a yeah. thing in Nigeria. We yeah. don't have that here. How many cinemas do we even have? Now, listen, we don't even have the sort of funding to put up the sort of films that we would like to be mm. on Netflix. It's just a few. Mm. So that means your only avenue now is to premiere in malls. How many malls? Accra Mall, West Coast Mall. Mm -hmm. You go to Kumasi, Golden Eagle, mm -hmm. Sunyani, maybe some other hotels. But even if there are cinemas, my problem is how, how busy is it going to get? It, it, I, we are looking at the outlet instead of the input, what should make it work? Exactly, though. If there's a place like online platforms like Netflix and all of that, that's what we should be targeting. But how to convince someone is the question you're asking me. It's tough. It is tough because people who have the willpower to do it or to turn things around, they will rather focus on music. Mm. They will focus on But the music to initially the seat, though. Yeah. yeah, but if you compare both... Right. If you compare both, yeah. I think they would rather say they want to go with them, like invest in music. Music is a safer bet. Yes. Okay. Film is a risky bet, but people really don't know how profitable it is. Trust me. If we start at some point, like a revolution, and start getting these maybe telcos or because the government can do whatever it is that they can do on their part. I will mm -hmm. get into that because it's very technical. They're, 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 the problem is a lot. It's very disjointed. Yeah. It will take a lot to get a reform. Now, to get somebody like that, you need to first of all do something for them to see what you're capable of doing. Yeah. Now, where are you going to carry that money from? It makes it even tougher. Mm. That's number one. Now, build less houses in Kweu, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I lost, <laughs> I lost my chin up for a little bit. Uh, so now getting all of like this funding to even start it off in the first place is even a different discussion altogether. Okay, now let's just say you actually go on to make this film, right? If... A, that's a very solid film. You do a solid film. He does a solid film. And we start growing in popularity. But don't you think that it will hit them that, yo, these, like, the, these guys are not even a lot and this is what they're doing. Uh, do you know how amazing it will be if Netflix... Amazing. Yeah, amazing. If Netflix <laughs> sets up an office here in Ghana. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. But, but how is that going to happen? Because the moment that happens, yeah, 
Let me tell you what's going to happen now. It won't be only Netflix who will be funding this, but now people would want to start to invest. Yeah. So now the stakeholders that we're in, it's like we're, we're in limbo here because whatever money that you make won't be so massive for you to now do like the, like the kind of film. You, you, you wait a little bit. If the film is not net, uh, Netflix worthy, you premiere the mall, you sell the rights to DSTV, you sell it to maybe Iroko, mm-hmm. all these like platforms, and then you put it together, you can save a little, but then the journey is, is quite long. Yes. That's why I would understand when people say that maybe film doesn't pay in Ghana. Mm. It pays. It actually pays in Ghana. It pays well. But it depends on who. Mm. So we, we can all be working in the same company, but we won't be taking the same salary. Right. You will take higher than I am. Right. But I will say, this job doesn't pay. But you're chilling. Yeah. So based on people's perspective or how they see the industry, it's, it's, it's subject to, to pers- you know, brands, like how, how you carry on your brand. Someone might, might make so much money of the gigs that come mm. outside acting mm-hmm. than actually... It's like in, a platform. Exactly. Mm. So if you tell me that acting doesn't pay, then I... Because I've, I've read a lot of headlines like that. The, the recent one I saw was from Akofa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. Pascaline Edwards. Okay. Saying that anyone who says that they've made it or they've made so much in acting is a liar. That's a very bold statement for you to make. So if you say that you didn't make money from acting, that's fair enough. But can you say the same thing for Jackie Apia? Can you say the same thing for Majid Michel? Can you say the same thing for Ivan Okoro? Like, I mean, you have to build your brand and make it so strong. Look at how many endorsements ha- did, has Jackie gotten. Do you think she'll be getting them if she wasn't an actor? Mm. That's the whole point. Yeah. So yeah. you use what you have to get what you want. Most of these actors make a lot of money off camera than actually on camera. People yeah. actually don't, don't see it. So what I'm trying to say is it's going to be very tough mm. for, for you to find investors. It's like a relentless thing. But the moment you sell an idea to someone like how Duncan Williams jumped on this film, mm. it can set a trend for other, f- other people in his circle who would also want to jump on that, the more we're getting these things from Ghana, the more eyes we're going to be getting because this straight up is going to go on Netflix. Yeah, That's yeah. going to get a lot of attention. Yeah. You have to set the beats now. Let them know that. Look, guys, this is it. If you're ready, let's play ball. Yeah. I think, you know, I've always said and believe that Ghanaian culture is very copycatist. Yeah. We're very... I remember when we were coming up and that's why I was asking you guys about growing up in North Kennedy because of mm-hmm. how you guys have all gravitated towards entertainment because you said a lot of studios were springing up. I don't know if you recall, but there was a time where um, the thing where you... <laughs> you, <laughs> you, see, <laughs> you go trust today. Applause, which has applause. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. He's a friend. This don't drink up. Even when <laughs> they tell me he's a friend, relax. <laughs> the two way up. <laughs> I love this part. I, yeah, I can't wait yeah, to see this part yeah, on the nice. screen, actually. But um, so we, 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 there was a time where you said studios were springing yeah, yeah, up. Yeah. All of you guys were learning these tech. Like when I, one of the things I observed about you when you came around was your natural instinct to check out the technical shit. You did check the camera, you did check the lighting. Yeah. You are involved. Yeah. Partly because that's where your career is. But I, I would even assume that because of how you grew up here, yeah. it became. I didn't grow up around that stuff. So always, Mutombo, they laugh me. I know be technical guy. Oh. Uh, but, but I got an adjust the microphone. That's it. <laughs> but there was a time, a trend. I don't know if you guys remember, where um, communication center. Yeah, was a big thing. Yeah. Bro, if in you Ghana, say like, center, nobody yeah, 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 comp center. Yeah, comp center. <laughs> so everybody became businessman wise, became inclined to uh, for open some, and I think yep. that's a Ghanaian cultural yep. thing. Yep. So for me, I think we have so many beautiful stories to tell. Sometimes I I listen to Mutombo tell me something that happened in his childhood, how they ran up on some. Like he has this crazy story mm-hmm. where he went to play basketball. And he ran into his brother. And he yeah. didn't know that was his brother. And through conversation, 
They figured out, yeah. bro, I could sell a whole movie yeah. off of that. Yeah. So for me, the reason why I'm interested is because to humanize us, to make us more seen, like we're not just one thing. There's power in storytelling. A lot. And for me to be able to get to that point where we're able to portray a young Mutombo or a young James your life in North Kanishi, how it has evolved and gotten you. Oh, you did go drink more. This is my guy. <laughs> so, if so, more, let's let divide. divide. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> my guy, you are too on point. So, it's, for me, what I, I guess I'm trying to say is that sometimes it's not just um, the idea that, you know, there's no money in it or there's no. Uh, whatever you want to use to. It's about, he asked the question about mentors, right? Sometimes it's about seeing it on film and seeing a story being portrayed. And James can, in some interviews, say, I'm a North Kanishi boy. And the kid can see you on screen. And all of a sudden, you never have to meet him, shake his hand or whatever. But he's going to start researching on you, picking up on you. You went through this. You might tell your story here and there. And then they will live vicariously through you. It's so pertinent. It's so important to progress that I am committed to making enough money so that in my 50s, I can invest in it. So kudos to you, bro. Keep going. Um, it's, the, it's a deal from Netflix, mm -hmm. Prime TV, um, Hulu. Mm. You know, and all that. Uh, but here in Ghana, we know Netflix, you know, a whole lot mm. more. Is, is the ideal good for film producers, actors like you? Like, is, is it a good deal? Yeah, it What's is. What's the deal? Yes, it is. It is. So, I mean, I'm talking from an actor's point of view. Hold on a second. I'm talking from an actor's point of view. Um, when there's funding, the pay is usually good, yeah. you know? And I like the fact that the story can also come out well because then the producer has everything available to tell the story right. When the story is told right, it makes you as an actor look good as well. So mm. when you have everything available around you, there's no excuse. It's like everything just works. Your costume just works. It makes you rise up to the occasion. Like if I, I don't know if you understand what I mean. So those are the platforms now because times have changed. It started from VCD. Bro, I've been doing this thing for a minute. Mm. We started filming when, when our films were on VCDs, bro. Wow. <laughs> but, and then it moved to DVDs. At least you moved past VHS. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. I was never on the VHS. Yeah, VCD, and then um, it moved to DVD. And now, you know, times have changed. Now they're like online platforms. What was the other one? Blue or something? Blu-ray. Blu-ray. Blu <laughs> that one didn't really Blue, catch Blu -ray, it. Blu-ray. No, it didn't. It was yeah, expensive. Yeah. It was yeah, expensive. Yeah. So it, it didn't make yeah. any sense. VCDs were VCD, like some That was when they were screen, cashing yeah. out. Yeah. You just flip it and you'll be watching That was when they were cashing out because yeah. it was cheap and the producers were selling copies and copies. So they wish we can go back to those times. But you, 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 you can't change. You can't steer you know how people which way people just should improvise go. man yeah so Find now if it's online now there are requirements that come with it and there are no cheap requirements all these cameras that they they used before are not acceptable now like yeah. quality wise so mm -hmm. now so now what do you do? I, am i here netflix has this crazy requirements like i mean it's not it's not it's not crazy formats, it just has to be know. 4k it just mm. has to be 4K. What but kind of investment are you talking about? Like okay, raw, so, like if so, you give me a number. Like for a solid production? Yeah. Bro, from a product, from a producer's point of view, I don't think I can say. But to, because like, it also depends on, on the film. Like I, range, I, range. I wouldn't know what this... It'll be tough. Mm. I don't want to just say something, think. but I think that, let's say, if you want a good film in, in our side of the world, about five hundred thousand dollars. Wow! We'll, we'll, it, will, it, will, it, will, it will do a very good job. Get your money up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it will do a good, good job. job. It will do but a very isn't good that job. dependent on the locations and, and, and such? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like it, 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 it may go over. Okay. But I'm trying to give like a, a baseline yeah, a base that if you good. have five hundred thousand dollars, it, it you will get something good. Okay. For me not to say, ah, what is that? You'll yeah. be satisfied. Yeah. So even anything outside 500,000, a million, two million, Jeez. then that one you're talking. We're, okay. we're talking about Netflix originals what here. What kind of turnover, though? 
What kind of R- Bro, R- you R- have no idea. If it's a Netflix original, let me give you an example. When it's a Netflix original, it's advertised globally. Mm. It is, f- you see how, what, check this out. How, how's yeah. it called? What do you call? And then they do adverts where thriller. you see yeah, all yeah. of these ruling. Thriller. They put the like, trailer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Trailer. Uh, is it trailer or? <laughs> thriller is Michael Jackson's album. Thriller. Tra- 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 trailer. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so like they put more like advertisement into that. Okay. Nine days to go, eight more days to go. The momentum yeah. is big. Yeah. So yeah. the more people who stream that particular movie, that earn it earns you a lot of money. Okay. So when it's a Netflix original, it's no joke. But when you just put it there, they won't advertise it for you. It's going mm. to be there. They will probably just say new on Netflix, and that's it. But when you go, all these movies or places that's like suggesting movies for you to watch mm. their Netflix originals are going to be the number one mm. and they're always going to be in the top 10 whatever it is so like they really like put I what, just I just I what's just their want, criteria for like for Netflix to decide they want to do a special with you like what do you have to show them do you know I mean you have to know your ins and outs you have to be someone that has done you have reach a like lot of they, yeah, they, they solid they stuff can I kind of reach Mm. They see your, your your project and then they know that even without them, this is what you've managed. Can you like shop a pilot with them or something? Yes. No, 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 no. They yeah. won't. They they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't roll like that. I mean, you can go through your network, right, and see if you can do something for them. For them to, I don't know. May, may, maybe they do, but I I don't know about that. Okay. Because I think they have way too much going on for them. To, to be focusing on pilots when mm. people already have like materials yeah, that are, I, I don't I don't think they'll find uh, that. I, I, no, go ahead. So no. I was thinking that maybe like let's say this thing that I am talking about with Mutombo meeting his brother on the basketball court by chance, <laughs> right? We we shoot a hardcore. Let's say we invest thirty thousand. You can dollars. send a proposal. I get where you're going. You yeah. can send a proposal, but I think there has to be a bit of weight to it. You mm. can't just send that. Maybe if you sh- if you shoot a short film like that, mm-hmm. you probably have to take it to maybe some festivals. Mm. It wins here, wins that, wins this, wins that, mm. and then you now go to Netflix and you go like, "Look, I want to ch- turn this into a film. I've won this. I've won to check it out." That's different. Okay. But if it's just raw, I feel like you have more work to do Absolutely. than the work talking for you. Makes do you sense. get what I mean? Makes so sense. yeah, it's it's more with film accolades and awards and all that. It it, it puts value on the film as well. I shock say we did drink Pamoy we we talk so serious, but <laughs> maybe we forgot. Sorry, so so coming back to Imari. James, are you married? No, 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 no I'm not I'm not married. So coming but I have back a boy, to, I have a son. Coming back to uh, they run to the girls. Tombo, why you won't make serious? I want bizarre questions about um, coming back to where? Coming back to where? Ghana. Ghana. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Coming back to Ghana, there's something I want to see. See Tombo. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on I to that thought. Just watch your eyes before you can continue. <laughs> Okay, so I feel oh, like gee, I love this man. I feel like I feel like <laughs> I feel like we the filmmakers to had a bit to play with, you know, the the downside as well of the mm. industry. Speak on it. So we may have taken the public for granted at some point where we just feel like everything you put out they're going to like mm. just consume. Mm. You know, where, just because you put some faces on there splash some Jackie here, put this here, put that here, put that here, and then that's it. So imagine putting a movie which is just an okay movie right, in the cinemas, advertising, going for interviews and say, yeah, it's premiering this and blah, blah, blah. This person is, comes in, buys the ticket, even comes with a girlfriend, maybe friends, whoever. They come and then the movie is trash. Right. Uh, Will you go for another premiere? Yeah. You might probably give it like another go, but you go the second time, it's the same story every time. Right. Like we don't have like, sorry, we don't have like a, I feel like we really have to create like a criteria mm. that has to be met for it to maybe make it like how maybe before your movie gets to Netflix, yeah. it needs to have this, it needs to have that. It needs to pass through some type of vetting. Yeah, I don't think that any movie that's submitted to suit to maybe all the cinema, Silver Bed, Golden Eagle, just for the business side of it, should just be accepted what? because there's going to be money made. Gotcha. I don't know. I, this might sound like a funny question to you, but and it's not the palm wine. I'm just curious about why Silver Bird and Golden Eagle. It just clicked. 
Silver bread gold they ball like bread. Ah, silver bread, bread. Yeah. <laughs> silver bread gold in Yeah. Yeah. Do you think this a uh, Yeah. Nah, I mean I don't know. I mean it was it some type of competition. <laughs> The bird, bird, the bird is the word. Bird, 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 bird. bird, bird. bird, bird. So, so let's come back together, right? Let's let's just because we are going overboard. Okay. Put some respect on yeah. my name. So um get into our local scene, right? Yeah. I'm so into not so into, but I like a couple of people who are I think I I understand them and I relate to you know them. One is Lil Wayne. Shouts to Lil Shout Wayne. Out to Lil Wayne. <laughs> bling, and bling. The he's and a the legend. other is a recent man. But I think he's so funny. Is it a cabinet? Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> like you, Doctor Like you, Like you, A cabinet, yeah. And now, one guy that I watch religiously is Josh. Is too funny. Oh, and but the he's, Nigerian. he's Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's Nigerian. Uh, that, that guy's mad. He's so dope. Talented. Like he has yeah. a series going on where yeah. the audition, where he's oh. several things at a time, and it's, you have it. to check it out. So uh, funny. Josh is what? Josh, Josh too funny. Josh too funny. Oh. Yeah, Josh. I'll send Josh you the number link. two. Okay. Yeah. Funny. Um, what What do you think of um, people like Lil Wayne? A jackal. Lil Win, Win. L- Lil Win, Lil Win. Yeah, you talk Lil. That's why I talk yeah. Blink, Blink. Cause I yeah. thought you were talking about Wheezy. No, Lil Win. Yeah. A jackal, a cabinet. I, I, I like, feel like these guys are just legends. They are living legends. Mm. They, at some point, I would say Lil Win actually carried even the industry on his back. People were watching a lot of films because of Lil Win. Yeah. And that's good for us, you see. But now imagine having Lil Win on a certain Lil Wayne, pedestal. Win, Win. Low win on a certain <laughs> pedestal, Kujun yeah. cancer on a certain pedestal, yeah. or showcasing all these things like in rich films. Do you get because what I mean, it's not it's not like what he's doing is 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 trash. Mm. Do you get it's not. They have different ways of telling stories. Mm. Imagine putting him in a solid Netflix original and letting him play a certain kind of role that really suits him and all of mm. that. Like these are the things eventually. People are now going to jump to go on Netflix because they, they, are, they can now see him on Netflix more. Right. You see, so all of these things are also very detrimental to trying to bring all of these things back together. Apart from looking for the funding, there are certain people as well because, see, the numbers that Lowen has when it comes to views, like on mm. his YouTube and all of these things that he was doing is crazy. I just wish that he can channel some of this energy into like building like contemporary content that can match the standards of all these online platforms for everybody to see. Because now, Osofia, who who was back in the day doing all Early of 2000s. that, is on Netflix still, you know, ma- making it happen, and. Even Lewin isn't even, but I mean, shout out to him, man. The, the guy built a whole school. Like, it's, it's crazy. How many people are going to do that? Do you get what I mean? So, I feel like if he has the funding or to also use the influence or the, as, as big as his brand is to even put together things that can also end up on all, like all of these online platforms. Because these guys, trust me, if we didn't have people like Lil Wayne and all these My like guy was Santo, that, by the way. Oh, Santo. Yeah, Santo, yeah. <laughs> Santo. Santo. Yeah, but OG Santo, Santo passed, no? Yeah, yeah he passed. Yeah, Santo so passed. Many, so, so many years ago. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's like, I, I just feel like we have to mix a bit of these worlds mm. together. How, and how, much, just how much is Nigeria getting an edge? Regardless, put the numbers aside. I mean, they're, Nigeria is basically... Come closer. Man. Yeah. Pull them closer. Nigeria is basically like, the states right united yeah. states usa yeah because of the population size yeah that's a fact but how much of it do you think we're lacking in terms of professional collaboration here so when you spoke of lil win uh, i'm sure you have to have a team put together in order for them to understand translating his talent no, no, into you con- don't. contemporary you don't. you don't there are subtitles there's nothing you see his acting and his mannerism and all of that is all that matters 
Mm. The subtitles, it doesn't really matter whether he speaks in Chi, how Zad, no, no. and that doesn't really... I mean, I'm talking about like somebody in his team knowing how to... Like business-wise? Business-wise, to put all these things oh, together, I'm to sure, put I'm, it on I'm like sure he definitely YouTube. Does. I'm the, sure he definitely does. I'm sure he definitely does. I just wish that there'll be more of these kind of things on like a wider scale or like a wider platform for the for these but isn't that how the nigerians are getting an edge over us yeah so because they have people in net different networks hooking them up yeah but it's the population the population is what nigeria really has on their side Mm. so the consumption is massive Mm. when they put a movie on netflix right Mm. the number of people who are going to view that even in just a week Mm. is mind-blowing ghana we're not that kind of even when it comes to Big Brother and all of yeah. that voting and all, it's it's not it's not our the thing. Is not, no, yeah. it's it's not our thing. It's not Nigerians who vote. They are in there. They are zoned in. They they love the entertainment. They love the showbiz. They will be talking about dresses that this person wore, and they will make fun of whoever. There's a big thing in Ghana as well. We look down on our very own. We see our own as inferior. I don't know how or when this thing happened and it's been something has been going on for too long we place so much value on foreign stuff like even our musicians we see nigeria not that not, not that our, our, our musicians are not big but we see these nigerian musicians are like they're like gods you know because whatever talent that whiskey davido brenner boy all these guys have sakodie kiddy kwesi Arthur, all these guys have that you see, so then uh, it now comes to what I'm talking about. Not that they don't have the money, but you see, when you have doors open to fans, you can make it happen. Mm, the it, funding. Yeah, yeah, the sika and the yiska. Money mm. has to be the bait to get more money. Other than that, Charlie, it won't work. Guys, we are, we are talking about, we are talking seriously too much. <laughs> Charlie, James, how, how, how many women have you got right chop, now? Chop, chop. Like, have you got oh, chops? <laughs> because you are on their screens. Like, like how many women? Like, do you think acting, acting has brought you more women? Like, right now, it's easy to What's this talk to about someone. More women? Hey. What are the women? To why the bees about more women? No, because I be, be okay. No, no, no. Run, oh, I'm very interested. Say what? So you go answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> you make fun. Me run and they say I be gay. I go do so. I don't want to talk about. It. I go yeah. do so interview. Way. I go talk something. They say run and be gay. So me and they look for but, boys. But, but, but we we who know you know. Oh that you no, no no no! Right now, oh no! That that was back in the day. Charlie, back in the day. So now you're focused. No, run, run. I'm, I'm focused, focused, man. Run, I'm focused. Like yeah. girls and all of that. So you, you, nah, you know, like girls again. That. I like girls, but, but, but I mean, I, I don't put in that energy exactly. like how those times when you go older. to the club, you're zoned in that, yo, I'm going because I have to get a girl. Like now I can go to the club just because I want to have a good time. Yeah. Now, talking about clubs, you have coupled acting with being a part yep. owner of a nightclub. Did the you play- know? Yeah, play play, nightclub. Actually, play my brother nightclub. was like, "Talk to him when you get here." I'm like, yeah. "Nah, we're not gonna do that." <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. so, how, how is that? Like, if you say you are zoning, like you're focused, like yeah. now you are going to be around even more women. Oh how yeah, I that? mean, I mean, the truth is, if you're in a relationship, ethic wise, I be mean, men will always be men, right? But ethic wise, you know, you're supposed to stay true. Yeah. But when you're not, you're not married, or you're not. I mean, once in a while, maybe something can happen to lead to this, to lead to that, to lead to this, yeah, and then something yeah, might happen. Word, yeah. So I, I would say that temptation. Uh, would be like you talk like you did relationship inside. No, 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 no. I uh, don't do relationship. Uh, I, I was. Yeah, free I'm man. Not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy yourself. Man. So, <laughs> so, so wait. How how is the play nightclub doing? It's it's like quite new, right? Yes, it's very new. We open in December, tenth uh, of December, and. The traffic we got at our place was just mad. Like there were times when we had to to literally block the gates and say no, you can't. People were willing to come inside and spend, but there was no space and it was so hot inside. Mm. But the team is say the people who are inside, we don't want to give them a bad experience too. So we yeah. want to give the people outside the chance to come in, but then you can't but, you can't but, you, can't but, but you guys everyone. were doing something cool, having that boxing ring in yeah, the, in the, yeah, in the yeah. nightclub yeah. where people like Celebrities. Oh, but you know, you know, we got bashed for it at some point too. Really? Ah, you know, that Ghana, one. Ghana, everything is who. But but nightclub too. Waiting concert nightclub. I and think then, I think yeah. it was dope. It was. Innovative. What were they doing in the boxing ring? The fighting, bro. 
For real. It was a fight. It was a fight. But when when you go to like play Ghana, it, play Ghana mm. on social media, you see it. We we, we like their fight. We put up a fight. We get boxes. We get mixed martial arts. You get people sitting just while like, the you know, party is while happening. the party is happening. So you're wow. drinking. There are girls going around seven drinks. This person is knocking this person down. It's it's a, it's a vibe. Fire performance. Now that I I I think my tipsiness is making me realize this. I think you, the pull of your mic is. Trying to enter Fred's eyeballs. <laughs> no, it's not that far yet. No, your no, eyes no, are no, popping out eye. of the circuit. <laughs> <laughs> the power, yeah. the power but make play, it last. But play is dope. I've yeah. been there. Like you actually invited me. I think the opening, right? Yeah, it was the opening. Yeah, the opening, and and I was there. And you know me, I'm not a nightclub person. Yeah. So me neither. I was tucked in a corner, and I've seen all the plush, you know, light yeah. and all that. And I'm like, oh, wow. So I'll give you this. Mm. When I saw it, because. One of the things I double in is real estate. So yeah. I saw it coming up yeah. and then the has infrastructure. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 A little bit. I don't want to talk to you. I'd be so real estate. I mean, real estate. <laughs> but I saw your, your, your structure and it's one of the most impressive executions I've seen oh, in the city. Thank you, man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, like the way they do them, man. I was like, you know. The new operator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I saw it, I was like, oh, these guys were invested in... Uh, <laughs> 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 they were invested in the experience mm -hmm. beyond going to a box or wherever to party. This is like mm. a whole... The metal work. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm getting too nerdy about this. But yeah, yeah. The way it's wiggling and yep. when you see it from the street, yep. it's like if you be party person... And you see it, you're like, yep. I have to go to that place. To, exactly. The only reason I haven't been to it is because I'm generally not a club guy. Like mm. my brother is. An yeah, but the rooftop, guy, the no. rooftop is just a bar though. It's, it's okay. just like a rooftop lounge. The rooftop, uh. there's a rooftop lounge upstairs, and then the club is down. You guys, they bounce for slippers. <laughs> for the rooftop. Yeah. I mean, before you enter, when once you enter, you have access to go to the club too. So. Okay. Yeah, they go we're very particular. But now that he's things. here, we can get the pass. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe figure some. You see, so <laughs> my small, small thing is because I'm in my home country and I feel like the sandals is part of our culture. No, 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 Sometimes no, 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 no. I is. understand. Like, yeah, so looking looking top good or looking the part is, is also very important when it comes to these things, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it does. It does. I mean, if you're wearing like a traditional outfit and you're wearing slippers, nobody's going to tell you that you can't wear that. That makes absolute sense. But mm. you, can't, you can't wear certain kind of slippers and an out, it, it won't look good, yeah. you know, because then now everybody will want to go easy and look like that. And that's not how you want people to look in your club because when you're taking pictures and videos... This is a businessman talking. Yeah, when you're taking pictures <laughs> and videos, you want it you to want look to make good. Sure, yeah, you yeah, want yeah. that whole I aesthetic thing. So that's you. that. It, there's more to it than just that. Let, let, let to me alone, people can even wear basketball shorts to a club. You know, I, there was a club back in the day then, Plot Seven. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. I think they yeah, allow basketball yeah. shorts, that's whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think now it's uh, it's for a friend of mine called uh, Bakna. It's called uh, Aliba. 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 Yeah, okay. Jamestown, yeah, Aliba. Oh, Jamestown. Uh, yeah, Jamestown, Aliba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. So we're, yeah. we're like neighbors. He comes to mine, I go to his, you know. So are we, are, we spread are, are we going to get free passes to play? You know, get problem. Allah, you already know already. Allah, you know, Allah, you know. <laughs> Charlie, so, so um, do, you, do you think there are real celebrities in Ghana? Or just a bunch of popular see, people? Right now, I know say they drink no shit that way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But continue. Yeah, bro, trust me. When you see people, the kind of the kind of crowds that can gather around someone like Kujun Kansa, mm -hmm. you mm. would know that this person is even more than a celebrity. Let me tell you something. Jackie went, Jackie, Majid, and Co. They went for, I think, a film, something about a film. I don't know whether it was a premiere or something in Liberia. There was traffic. It almost felt like it was the press, like it was a campaign time. If you uh -uh. see the crowd following Majid, their car, all the way to the hotel, put that aside. I went to film in Sierra Leone with John, John Dumelo. Mm. By the time we, we, we were ready to leave the hotel, every morning, there's a huge crowd in front of the hotel. People will be passing on their kids. 
pictures. for you to hold pictures. Yeah, bro, trust me. We have more than celebrities in dope, Ghana. Dope, you dope. just don't know the sort of effect you're having on people outside. I get messages from places as far as Guyana, from oh, Panama. Wow. That's yeah, them. That's yeah, it's crazy. They, they I'm watch telling your films. You. Yeah, they what? Yes, and you see even but more even more about the Glamour Girls film too. It went really far. The, the reach and the sort of messages I was getting from some places was just crazy. And I could tell that these guys were fans who had now seen this because they hadn't maybe seen something of mine in a, in a long yeah, while. Yeah. But now Netflix is making it easy to connect. Yeah. So yes, we have massive celebrities in Ghana. Trust me. Dope, dope, dope. Massive. That, 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 that's dope. Um, um, what do you think? You made, you made mention of you made mention of um, John Dumelo, yeah, mm. you know, and all that. What do you make of, you know, and and it's not just him. Like a couple of people who want to veer off, you know, take a detour and enter, you know, politics. Politics. Oh, what do you think of? Because I know John Dumelo, you are. Yeah, you are that's cool my G. Yeah. yeah. What, what do you think of John entering? politics well reagan i don't think it has anything to do with the career or whatever it is whether he was a lawyer before or an actor before but i think you, you what you, what you're saying now is becoming a trend is that what you're saying yeah I, I think so because quite recently so many young people are so baba sadiq oh yeah so know, so for me i can give you a couple of examples so for me i would say if you're someone who actually has the the people are hurt you know, your community and, and, and you really want to do a good job. But actors don't have people at, at heart. <laughs> actors act. Actors pretend. No, oh, no, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. I, I understand what you mean. But I, I feel like it's more of like a work-related thing because how I act in my movies, the moment I get offset, I come to my natural self, one-on-one, mm. like basic. Mm. I don't, you know now, I don't yeah. fake. I'm very blunt. I don't hide my opinion if your armpit smells, I'll tell you armpit smells. I'm that kind of person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter how blunt it is. So if so, you can ask Joey B. When Joey has mm. a, has a new song, I'm one of the guys he makes me listen to. Yeah. And I will tell you point blank. I know the feel him. Mutomo back in the day would ask me. Now he stopped. Yeah. He asked about my opinion. I'll tell you point blank. So if you are somebody who has like a good heart, and you think that your popularity is what is going to help you use that as a platform to get the chance to help the people. Why not? Perfectly normal. So I think it's, I mean, politics basically all boils down to a popularity game. How popular you are determines how many votes you're going to get. So if you're popular and you're using that popularity for a good cause, 100%. I, I, think, I think they have the platform. See, Tombo, yeah. I mean, I don't want to sound like a pessimist, but I, th I think one of the spirits of if more or less divide, keep it a buck. Mm -hmm. If if you're Ghanaian... Charlie, but you stay Yankee before. Yeah, yeah or you yeah. stay Yankee... Oh. Like, like, since uh, 2000, right? No, I left in 99, yeah. Yeah, right. I guess some person. ways, the way he talks about yeah. one of those are darling. Oh, yeah, <laughs> bro. I'm American. This guy, be, <laughs> if, nice to if like he's a guy, if he's a guy. But no, for real, because as you say, people, they care about the politics. They care about change. And for me, what I'm recognizing is that the system... Charlie Tombo, it'd be too entrenched. Mm. No matter how good your heart is, no matter how altruistic. So you go chop the money. No be money matter. You see, you have to be able to change the system mm -hmm. in order for change to reach the people that you love. And the system will not change. I'll tell you why. The system that people get upset with, like the politician of the day. Right now, everybody bought plus nana. Before then, everybody bought plus. Mahama, everybody will plus individual because they are easier to blame. Mm. But what is wrong with Ghana is not the chosen leader. It's the system. It's the civil service that's in place. And it's like the inf infrastructure governmentally that's in place. So if you they try and make life more equitable for the people, the basic things, you and I, probably, Tombo, we can get away with most things because mm. we're in a position of mm. privilege. But if you go down to, quote unquote, I'm coming into politics for the people, what will stop you in your tracks, dead in your tracks, is you go to an institution 
name any institution in this country, whether it's DVLA, whether it's Kolibu, whether it's wherever, there's a system that's been nurtured over time because we don't properly compensate our people has evolved into a structure where this is how they live, this is how they survive. And the moment anything threatens that, they buck the system, they go push back. So until we have a real honest conversation amongst ourselves. See, the, the bribe that they take for road in body or any institution is not going to the person alone that takes it directly. It'd be across the board to the top. <laughs> Everybody collecting share. Yeah. So once we know have these candid conversations and let the people know, say it's not Dumelo or Sadiq or whoever, that's the culprit or the problem, but the pr system, Ghana system, Chief Tansi, these people, they, they make their mind up already. You, you have been brand ambassadors in the past, mm. right? And one firm that you were you worked with was Men's Gold. Yeah. How did that go? And what did you gain? And right now, if you look back, do you have regrets? I don't, I, I don't have one single regret. You see, my business that I had with the CEO of uh, Xylophone, was strictly purely business. And as per contract, he did everything that the contract said, you know, and more. I think for me, it would be very wrong on my part to now go hash and say, yeah, the whole um, men's gold saga, and now he's not, he's not in the position to pay people and things like that. Because with the story, men's gold was shut down. And legally, when you go with these finances things, mm -hmm. like there's only so much that you can do because obviously, just like a bank, it's not like all of your money is sitting down. That's not how it works. I think people always assume that the money is sitting down and it's just breathing. This is the same money that they use in investing in this to also make profit, make, make, make money back, give out loans. make make So it's not like just the same way you've taken the money in, the money's going to be sitting there, do you get? So I think people's anger was the fact that, ah, na midi buskana mawa, just give me the money back. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I get you, but how do you feel, right? Like when news came out, they were shut down and all that, how did you feel when you saw internet videos of mothers crying? I mean, it broke but, my heart, I won't know. lie. I won't lie, but, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's the system, you know? With banks and all of that, when you're when you're saving at a bank and the bank closes down, you'll be lucky to get a hundred percent payback. You'll be lucky. You yeah. don't get all your money. At most fifty, sixty percent is what you get mm. when it when it shuts down. Mm. You know this, right? Yeah. 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 So it's it, except maybe your man your man, your amount is very small where you can get it all back. But when the company is, is folding or it, it gets shut down like that, it's very difficult to pay everyone back their money you you can pay some and it's not like the pre like lawfully it's it's allowed you can google and check it there's a certain yeah. amount that you can pay and then that serves as a relief it really it really broke my heart because i really don't i don't want to get into it because i don't want it to look like i am going against whatever it is that have been said or the law that has mm. been passed but for whatever reason that it was shut down, I mean, if if a lot of people were jumping on it, that means it was doing something for the people. No, you were. You were. I think I think the interest rate was outrageously. Yeah, but then the people were benefiting, right? So yeah. so. What I'm saying here is the I, people were benefiting. I feel mm -hmm. James on his position, in terms of some of the nuances of what you've explained, like when you put your money in a bank. Well, not to a, catch you off here, yeah, yeah. but I actually wanted to land. But the people were benefiting. Wrongfully, so the people are just as culpable, uh, in my uh, opinion. Uh, that, so that's what I'm saying. What I'm wait, sorry, bro. Yeah. I was trying to make a point. I'm, I'm not trying. I'm, I don't want to sound like I'm not sympathizing with. But them, this is but the I'm show for you to say it solid. Yeah, yeah. what I'm trying yeah, to say yeah, is say what no, you want to no, say. No, no, no. In bro. Ghana, you have to be very careful when you're saying certain things <laughs> because, because bro, educate I'm just them. trying to say that when it comes to these things, mm. you and I know that it's it's like it was it was a solid, it was too solid a deal for you to. You put in the money, boom, boom, boom. It's like a turnover. You put in a million and you're getting that. Like, it was crazy. Too good to be true. Yes. With something like that, 
there are obviously certain things that should make you sit maybe at the edge a little bit and go like, ah, yo, this thing is this thing is dope, you know? But so you know, all of a sudden, time, ah, yo, yeah, this so thing now, is, it don't um, make no sense. Yeah, yeah, bec- but 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 they, they, just like you said, they, they were they were they were making a living out of it. Someone was actually someone will, will set a business out of this. You see, it was all praises and all you know cheers until that happened, and now all of a sudden, it's like he's a villain. You know, I work with him. Me, I know him. I know him personally. The the kind of conversations we have. There are conversations that you can tell he always wants to help. That guy always gives. He's always giving. So I don't want to use whatever it is that happened to judge him as a person. And then because of how I know the sort of person I think I know who, who like he is, I know that he's a good person. Like this is someone who set up a fund from nowhere for producers and filmmakers to just come. You defend it. This is what you want to do. They give an amount. You just go film. And there's no interest on it. You just pay the money back. For some, he even waved them off. That's the sort of person I was talking. You see all the problems I was talking about? This is someone who was going to but help But he was taking that. money from the poor and and helping. It's like, it's like Wait, the Escobar he, effect. He, he was taking money from the poor and doing what? But the, and giving it out to people if to you're tag, If stuff. you're tagging the poor, this person you're tagging as, as poor no. was getting 100% okay. payback. With the okay. deposit that he's made on a monthly basis, so, oh, so, so basically, 10%. so basically, yeah, yeah, a gamble. It's That's like what a gamble. I'm trying to say here. Cha-cha. This so person you are saying is poor yeah. was still getting value from the money that he's put in there. So mm. it's not theft. If you mm. if you had him, I I have even forgot Namwan. Yeah, yeah like, Namwan. If if you had Namwan standing in front of you right now, what would you tell him? I would say, man, I miss you. That's number one. <laughs> 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 I like James. I would just say, I would just say, just, just make it all worth it. That's what I'll say. Dope. That's what you I'll you say. know what I want to say though. You see, there's a phenomena in society sometimes where the quote unquote villain has daf- done enough good ah. so that it's almost impossible to villainize him across the board because, like he said, he's a philanthropic guy. He's stood up in situations where he's waived interest on things for people. He's benefited their lives. So his heart is just come and say, this person is black and white, terrible. But for me, one of the things that I'm always cognizant about is that as a society and as we grow and as we try to become better people, once we hit certain milestones in life, we have to establish the facts on the ground. The facts from a technical industrial standpoint is num one uh, gold, what, what men's, men's gold, gold was yeah. a Ponzi scheme. Mm. That's just a simple fact. You don't have to be too sophisticated to understand that there is no investment plan that gives you 10% return on investment per month. But Honestly, I don't have a problem with Namwan because my genuine belief is that the, the, the powers that be in this country were head honchos, true head honchos of that scheme. You see, when you look at it generationally, the age that he is, the country that we live in, the culture that we have, there's no way that he could have run that operation without Outside the endorsement of... The Odbaros mm. and the Odbaros have chopped and Chaligana mm. people. We for understand on ourselves. Now one will be the guy if for ball plus. Me, I'm just saying, you see, for men's go to be operating, that means he had a permit and license yeah. to, right? Yeah, so yeah, if you thought yeah. it, they ain't paying you the, for allow him at the time, already. yeah, at the time, then why did you let it proceed? You give the no, person bro, the opportunity to be. start the business and continue, and now oh. all of a sudden. Yeah, it's not if like it's not like he was doing it legally in hiding. You are they passing? This no, was no, no. open to everyone. I he mean, was he was running. You can't on miss TV, his bro. buildings. Yeah. yeah, and he was running adverts like commercials and promos yeah, and whatnot bro. on like, TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I mean, yeah. So. Charlie, it, it is what it is. It time, is. But your money to hear English, man. Yeah, hey, Charlie, Charlie yo. Yo. Fred, yeah, Charlie. Yo, Fred, see, Kofi, ask. you for stand MP. See, people they like to hear English. It is not like. It is not like my big bro. He was tough for MP. I am going to make sure that every cognizant. <laughs> oh. 
you, you just give me the girl. <laughs> because the way the way James be lies, Kim boy. You see, listen. Before you go end the show, I want to talk this thing. I know meet you before. I yeah, meet you today. Yeah. Some people day life is like you be actor, so that be extra plus. <laughs> But them boys did be fucking guys. Because he be fine boy. He did the corner and go talk child. Mutombo de Mutombo de Fizzy be pretty boy. But Mutombo de the same bracket as me. As yeah, he always don't mind he, he, he be fine boy. But if James. I, I'm, not, show, I'm, not, I'm not fine. I, I don't, I, but I you always tweet about that, that you're a fine boy. But I, I, it is too. Oh. Make me believe I'm fine. But, that's I, but good. I know that. Why but you actually, I think, I think you, you're cool. But you see, when, yeah, cool. when James them come some settings inside, <laughs> because he say, then the girls, they sit down properly, they, they roll them. Oh, Charlie, me, when you like, so, you go make the girls say, go insult me, self. <laughs> you see the way he left him beard, make, I say, in Tokuru, Tokuru, they move back. <laughs> nah, he fades on her. So me, I just, they want make, for the play, they actually give you the pass. No? Yeah. Then the girls make, yeah. as we be single. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Charlie. Charlie Dollars. Guys. Yeah, man. Charlie, guys. Um, I had a blast. It's been a dope conversation. An amazing conversation. Amazing. 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 Sensational. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I love how he played on the amazing thing, actually. Yeah, very, yeah, very, very, dope, very. Um, Charlie. Improv. Charlie James, I take give you. Yeah. Dope Shout conversation. Out. Make, up, make me click glass hey, before Charlie, the team. Hey, Charlie, man. Yeah. Right yeah. The team way Mutombo like, <laughs> fuck. But I'm good. <laughs> Charlie, um... Charlie. Guys, we thank you for listening. You know, um, James Gardner came through for us. Yeah, you know, we've been speaking for over an hour. It's been amazing as <laughs> usual. Always. And you know, you know, you know what I'm going to say. Just share this podcast with a friend and yep, yep, like. Yep. Turn we know you're already doing it, man. Yeah. Turn your notification on, Charlie. We, we know the act. We know the act, too, Charlie. See, come on. Like, someone go, go bring Ja. Let, he boosts that thing. But, Charlie. Listen. But yeah. you know what? I, I want to say this because I feel like today when Mutombo talks to you, right now, the bag be very important to him. It's the first side of him that I'm seeing. It's actually... It's, <laughs> it, it's making me laugh because you I... watch me somewhere. <laughs> no. I know him so well that I can't even believe that he was saying the bag is the important bag, to him. But bro, you guys share this motherfucker because <laughs> listen, the guy, I, I know I'm say money that they be mad. No, but still, Fred, right? But now that he did talk, make people share this thing. But 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 still, I'm I'm not. You know you know me so well. I know, and look. and James James would even know me. Money isn't my. Thing. You know they care about money. So for him to say that like, the bag, I, I don't really care about money, right? But Maybe now, they come born. Maybe they come born. You never okay. know. L- l- let's just say that. Yeah, you Chai never guys, know. Chai share. Share. Like. If more or less device. Shout out to yeah, James man. Gardner. Yeah, man. Shout Go James support man. everything that he's a part of. And, yeah. You know, even though in club. Come to you, play. Come to play. They worry the developments I play. won't do right now. We, 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 we <laughs> if talk more or less divide, we yes, are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you.